So let's talk about sex, and in particular the relationship between sex on the one hand and desire on the other. So for example, you can obviously have desire without sex, and it's conceivable you can have sex without desire. But something peculiar happens when you introduce uh, desire into the sex equation. Think of it like this. We have this phrase, having sex, as though sex is a sort of instrumental thing, like you have sex like you can go and have a sandwich or something. But in fact, when desire is introduced to it, you're not quite in control in the same way. And this is because desire is about not having. I mean, you don't desire what you already have. So it's about an absence, a lack that you're trying to get hold of. And in that sense, you're not in control of either. So desire puts control out of our hands. So rather than saying us having sex, we should really talk about the fact that sex has us. <laughs>